So Jesus said it. Jesus says, Jesus says in the New Testament, how can you say it's David? What? No, no, not with me. I can show you. But no, no, let's answer that question. You're on camera. Let's answer that question. Kiss the son unless he be angry and you perish in the way. What I'm going to say to you is don't go to me. Go to your own scholars. I will give you the nations for your inheritance. Yeah, yeah. Did Who's David that? get the nations? Yes. That's All right. the nations on that's the planet. That's what God said to him. He didn't get he South did Africa. He didn't get Australia. But why? What is he answering? Just read the goddamn book. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You've just blasphemed. You've blasphemed your own God. Just read yes, the Are book. Are you talking about Allah? So I'm saying that the words God and Lord and Son are meant for different things in the Bible which is why you'll find in Matthews it says that blessed be the peacemakers for they shall be that's called that's all deviation God. you're telling me that I have to be under an authority of now you're on another subject no, no, but when are we going to speak well, about no, God's no, Son I'm saying Proverbs it's chapter it's 30 it's Psalm 2 okay, Psalm question. 110 all speaking about what? the Son and now what? you are on another planet The Lord how said to God my Lord, how can God speak to God? Uh, Psalm 110, uh, that's the good, 17 good times also, in the New Testament. That's the good question. 17 also. times in the New Testament. That's the good question. The Bible speaks 17 yes, times. Yes. Psalm 110. Yes. The Lord said to my Lord, yes. sit at my right yes. hand yes. till I make your enemies your footstool. How can God speak to People God? Like you How can God, God speak like to God? You. Answer they the question. Anyone? Does anyone want to speak? Anyone want to answer the question? Any honest Muslims? How can God speak to God? Anyone? How can God speak to God? Psalm 110. And Jesus My brother, you've got so much hatred on your face to me, man. Peace to you. Peace. Peace. Does anyone want to answer that question? How can God speak to God? How can God be? How can God speak to God? Anyone? No one wants to answer. Are there any Muslims? I answer you. He's going to answer the question. Come on. You're going to tell us what's what's the question? I don't know what's the question. Oh, thank you. Okay. I ask the question. How can God say to God, "Sit at my right hand"? So I'll make your enemies your footstool. Yeah, Psalm 110, quoted 17 times in the New Testament. Psalm 110. Uh, when you when you go up and you want to speak about the Bible and you want to speak with respect, come back to Speaker's Corner. We'll have a debate. Are there any scholars here? Any scholars? Any people of knowledge that can answer the question? How can God speak to God? He said Harry Potter. Who's the scholar? Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this Mr. Hijab? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? In Psalm 110, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. Proverbs 30. What's your name, first of all? Greg. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. I know you. Greg, yeah? Greg, yeah. So, in Psalm 2, Psalm 22, Psalm 110, Psalm 110 is quoted 17 times in the New Testament, as you know. If Psalm 110 is quoted 17 times in the New Testament, even Jesus said, How can David say, The Lord says to my Lord? Who is that? Who is the Lord saying to my Lord, Sit at my right hand? And then when you read further on, he says, um, The Lord is at your right hand. So, they swap places. The two lords in Psalm 110 swap places. Proverbs 30, Proverbs 30 says, um, so if I ask you these two questions, which he can't answer, Proverbs 30, who has established all the ends of the earth? Is that Allah? Are you asking this is your question? Yeah, that's the first part of the question. Are, are, we gonna, are you going to say Allah to that? No, I'm asking the question my way, not your way. That's that's the first part of the question. Who has established the ends of the earth? Allah. Yeah. What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you know? If Allah's name and his son's name. Yeah. What is his name and what is his son's name? What does the son mean? You're kidding me. What does son mean? If you look up the etymology and the passing of the word, 
The sun means. What do you understand by sun? The, the, I understand what God tells us by the sun. So tell us what it means. God and the sun are one. Right. Jesus and the Son are one. He's got one begotten Son. In the New Testament, from what I remember, it but says, it this says, this is the question here in the Old Testament. Let's just take it step by step. Okay. Let's take it step. Yeah. Just let him answer. First and foremost, okay. These are all terms which need to be defined. Like even in the Old Testament, when we talk about the word Lord, the word God, the word Son. Like before we can have a conversation, obviously you're going to come with your own Christological understanding of what the sun means or what the God or the, means or the Hebrew or the Hebrew uh, no the problem. actual Hebrew but, but the word the word God has been used with the devil in the Bible the word Lord has been used with more than so many different uh, characters including but Moses. this is Yahweh but, speaking to Adonai I understand but if, if you're trying to use this to argue for Jesus being God then all I'll have to do is direct you to John chapter 10 verse number 34 where when in fact John chapter 10 verse number 30 you know, the famous verse, you know, I am the Father of One. And then the Jews were about to, to stone him. And he came back and he said, in John chapter 10, verse 34, isn't this the way you guys talk? I'm paraphrasing, actually, basically. Isn't it, isn't it written in your scriptures, in the old scriptures, that ye are gods? That's what, it's, that's what Jesus says. Isn't it written in the old scriptures that ye are gods? John chapter 10, verse 34. Meaning what? What do you think Jesus, my point is, what do you think Jesus is trying to say in response to the Jews who are about to kill him that isn't it written in your scriptures that ye are gods? Meaning, this language is not used literally to indicate equality with the Father. I've never heard such a big deviation at Speaker's Corner as you just made. Yeah. Right, I asked you a simple question yeah, and now you've jumped to John chapter 10 and you're telling me about the etymology and the passing of those words, yeah, yeah. if you want to look into the Hebrew or the Greek, you, you can the look at the Jesus, Septuagint, Jesus, Jesus you can look at the Septuagint, you yeah. asked me a question, now yeah. I'm answering your no, question. I haven't asked my question. You, uh, uh, my, my question is, how do you respond to the fact? But you first asked on. me, what is the son, how, how define you, son. How, how do you respond to the fact that in response to the word gods, Jesus says... But, but that's, that's, that's another you, subject. Ask my question. Jesus mentioned in John uh, chapter 10, verse number 34, that is not mentioned in the scriptures that ye are gods. Okay, is he, is, is, let me answer is, that let question. Me, let, me, let, me, let me be specific with my questioning. Is Jesus with that question attempting to prove his own divinity or is he trying to show that the word God is used in some kind of figurative sense to not indicate God, godliness in the full sense. You've asked about 15 questions and you still haven't answered mine. That's but I will question. answer your you question. I question. will answer your question. Do you understand my question? Your question you is it? fallacious. Yes, I do, because you're speaking about divinity. Name I'm not fallacy. here to. Name uh, the fallacy. I'm not here. Name the fallacy. I'm, I'm busy trying to. I'm not it's here to. But you can't name the fallacy. Let me name it for you. Straw man fallacy. Why is it straw man? Okay, I'll question. tell you. How could, it, how could a question be a fallacy? Let me tell you. No, no, no. This is problematic. So hold on. Okay, so the that's problematic. Let me. Could you go to speak Craig, over me now? I'm going to speak no, no, over no, you, you, you Mohammed. Craig, Basically, Craig, I asked Craig, you a question, Craig, and the Craig, first question Craig, I asked Craig, you Craig, was, Craig, what is God's Craig, son's name? You then said to me, define son. A question can be fallacious. You can ask a straw man question. No, you can't. Go and study psychology. You can answer a philosophy. You can ask a. Socrates made a living out of it. That's why he was killed. You answer irony. You can ask an irony question. Run a question with a straw man fallacious question. Craig, so listen to me. how can how can you Craig, say there's you no such thing as a straw man question? I can't say of that. Of course you can. I can't say that. Uh, uh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 you come here with your I Christian point that. of view, don't you? Okay, listen, listen. listen. There's a straw. Listen, there's a straw man Craig, fallacious question. You, you come me, here with me, your straw man question. So now let me go back to the original question. I'll answer your question. But you've just said one thing. Let me just say one thing. It's like 15 questions. You said something. Let me respond to it. Okay. Are you are you going to let me speak? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we time this? Fine. But let me just say one thing in response to what you've just said. If you look at a very easy book to read, maybe not really that easy, Organon of Aristotle, yeah? And if you study propositional logic, you'll find that a question itself cannot be wrong. You can, you can have a question with wrong presuppositions. Listen carefully, please, yeah? You can have a question which the assumptions are wrong, but the question itself, which ends with a question mark, which is not a declarative, which is interrogative in its structure, you can't say it's right or wrong. Oh. No, no, listen, you can't say it's a fallacious question. Of course you, you can. can. You can no, you cannot say it's a fallacious You can say the question has fallacious presuppositions, which in this case, I don't think it does. You can say the question is not relevant to what we're talking about. So let's get everything right. Number one, let me just repeat uh, my question. Uh, uh, let me, then you can say what you want. My, repeat my question. 
when Jesus in John chapter 10 verse 34 when he when the Jews were about to stone him if you look from John chapter 10 verse 30, uh, 30 to 33 when they're about to stone him and he said that is it not written in your scriptures that ye are gods did he say that because he was trying to make a claim for godliness and divinity himself or was he or does this context in, context indicate that he was trying to say that the words God were used figuratively not to indicate godliness in, whole, in the whole sense. So Which is it? How does that question yeah. answer my question to because you? Because your questions were had some key terms. The three key terms that you mentioned were the word God, the word Lord and the word Son. That's why we said that before we continue, we have to have a biblical basis, if we just go for the sake of it, of what these words mean. So I'm saying that the words God and Lord and Son are meant for different things in the Bible, which is why you'll find in Matthews it says that blessed be the peacemakers, for they shall be That's called. That's all the deviation. Of God. We're speaking why about is it one. Because we're speaking. To the claim you, you, no, it's not. It doesn't correlate with the claim at all. Okay. If you look in up. Your opinion. The, no, no. Look yeah, up the etymology. Opinion. Go and look at that. You go and get a concordance. Look up the etymology of the word. Look of at the word? passing. Look at the grammar. The Lord said to my Lord. Sit at my right what hand word? till I make your enemy's footstool. The word Lord. Adonai Yahweh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's Adonai, clear we all Adonai know Adonai is God. Lord, but in answer about the sons, the sons of God, this realm, the spiritual Yahweh, realm, God. speaking of gods, angels being gods and yeah. uh, uh, angels of countries Lord, and everything, Lord, everything. That's another debate. That's another debate. I'm not speaking about that now. I asked you a so question, question, particularly from Proverbs 30, yeah. Psalm 110. Okay. What's the who is God's son? I'm telling you, what does the word son mean? No, you're not telling David me anything. Is, how about this? You're David telling me, son. you're asking me a question. Right, David. David. Yeah, David in the, in the Bible is mentioned as God's son. So if David is God's son, are you we saying are in Psalm 110? Right? We're not God's children. In Psalm 110, you're are saying we? that's God, uh, David is God's son. I'm saying that. Huh? You asked me, you didn't say son. You, you said shut that. Shut up, you gremlin, let him talk. You said God. <laughs> you shut up, you gremlin, let him talk. You said God. No, you shut up, let him talk. Okay, Craig, listen to me. And what I'm saying to you is the word son, we need to understand what we mean by it. What do you mean by the word son? God's son, his essence. His essence. God's essence. Before the world was created, yes, okay. there was a triune God. Okay. Before. Can you show they me loved the each Bible, other. Please? No, I can't show you okay, in the Bible. So why are you telling me this? Well, I can't, I can't show you right now in the Bible. Why not? But you can, you you can imply this. Claim. Where is it in the Bible? Because, okay. Wait, um, let me, let me, let me, let me show you. Is it let not me, a fair thing to You've asked me a question. Let me give you the answer. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. I've got the page open right here. Okay. You asked the question we was, where does, so it, really where does it say in the Bible <laughs> that God has got an everlasting Father? Yeah? No, no, I didn't ask that did question. That? What did you say? You just said that before, before, before Jesus, yeah. uh, you said that God was, uh, Jesus is from God's essence. Really? So you said there was a triune yeah. God. Yeah. I want, okay, let me show you. I want the let triune God in the Bible. Please. Okay, yeah. yeah. Please. Listen carefully because this is about your salvation. You've got please. to stand in front of God one day us. and give account please, for your life. Please, All please. of you have got to, yeah. yeah. For unto us a child is born. Yeah. Where, where Unto now? us the son is given, where, where Isaiah chapter 9, yeah. verse 6. Yes. The government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, there will be no end. How can a child be called Everlasting Father? Okay, no problem. Is that your question? No, no that's my answer. answer. Uh, that's that's that the answer, answer to your question. Oh, but you asked the question, didn't you? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> No, the Bible's asking you a question. Okay, no God's problem. asking no, you the you question. Just asked me a question. No, no. I read to you yeah. from the Bible. Chapter 9, verse 6. Yeah. yeah? All right, first and foremost, chapter 9, verse 6, as well as uh, in Isaiah, as well as Isaiah chapter 21 and Isaiah chapter 42, I believe are all talking about the same person. Who? Well, yeah, I'm going to tell you who it is. Oh. Yeah, it's not Jesus. Yeah, you can smile, you can laugh, but we can have You're going to tell me it's David? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to go further than that. Uh, I'm okay. going to shock you and surprise you and dismay you. Uh, you got, point you. Please don't tell me you're going to tell me it's Muhammad. Yeah, well, well let's, let's find out yourself. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, you, can, you can turn to your shoulder, you can, you can do that. But actually, we're talking about shoulder. It said that the council will be on his shoulder. Yeah. Now, I want to, I want to question, is there, some, is there something on Jesus' shoulder? Is there any? Right? Yes. Let me answer the, the question. No, no, no. You asked the question. Let is me, there something on Jesus' no, shoulder? No, 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 no. Yes. What is this on his shoulder? Everything. He upholds no, all no, things. No, I don't mean that. No, no. Is I know true? what you don't mean, but you now trap by is your own question. No, let me just ask you. You don't like my answer. That's why you don't mean that. Okay. Look. What does it say that he's got? He's got something on his shoulder. Yeah. Yes. The whole world. Okay. It doesn't say gravity. The nations. No, the Bible says that. Council on the shoulder. The scripture. Of course, he's got a council on his shoulder. What is council? In heaven. 
the divine council, yeah. the yeah. angels, God. He has God. something on his shoulder. Yeah, the, yeah, everything. So, okay. But everything's Wait, on, at his on. feet. Hold on, hold on. Your sins, God gives him everything at his feet. Uh, on his shoulder. No problem. So your, this, yeah, your this, sin. This, this, yeah. Per, this person, so you have to go metaphoric here. I'm saying that. No, this, I don't want to go metaphorically. No, I'm going literally. Uh, we're seeing Isaiah, right? Chapter 9, verse 6. Yes. I'm saying that if you look at Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, it talks about this person, yeah? He's got a council on his shoulder. Yeah. And then it's mentioned again in Isaiah that it will be said to him, read, and he'll say, I'm not one of the learned, okay? And then once again, it's mentioned in Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 11 that he will be sent to the people of Kedar which are the Arabs which is mentioned in Genesis chapter 32 verse 11 that Kedar was one of the sons of Ismail or Ishmael yeah Ishmael yeah so all of that indicates to me that this person is not Jesus because Jesus was not sent to the Arabs now unless you can show me with definitive proof that Jesus was sent to the people of Kedar who are the Arabs then I have more reason to believe that the only historical figure that fits these Does this these, these, these prophecies born with is with a, uh, so, go ahead version? and me. No, does, does this can, can you person born with, uh, with the uh, yeah. uh, yeah. virgin? Sorry? Does the person born by the virgin? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or he the person is that born you're saying went to Cairo? It's not mentioned in chapter 32. So, okay. That person cannot okay. be Muhammad. It's not it mentioned. Be. It's not that mentioned. That person cannot be Muhammad because but we, Muhammad I, is not born with, with the with virgin. With respect, with respect, you're a scholar. You're no, no, you're no. You're I'm, just, I'm a guy that's just. I'm a scholar before I was an idiot. But oh, when I'm asking the questions, when, now when now we're going from the Bible, from the um, verses no, and all that, now all. I become a scholar. Exactly. How comes I've just raised the status in five minutes? Well, like this? I I was having a debate with someone over there, and I said, "Is there a Muslim scholar?" And they pointed me towards yes, you. They mean that so, this is the guy so, that is going to give uh, you another. Here we are. I'm speaking to you God. about the sonship in the Godhead. I'm you're you saying to me, there's yeah. nothing. In Psalm 2, I'm not saying in Psalm nothing. 2, I'm it says, I will declare the decree yeah. the Lord has said to me, you are my son, Three. today I have begotten you. Yeah, yeah, How can God beget a son? Beautiful. Same thing now you're going to tell me it's Israel or David. 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 David no, also begotten. it's not David because David. in Psalm 110, David, David is not eternal. He's not sitting at the right hand David of the Father in heaven. The son of God in the Bible. He's, not, he's not sitting, that doesn't say, where does it say that? The way you just read. Where, no, where does Actually, it say? Can, can you read the verses before and after what you just read? No, yeah. you, you tell me. Just that verse that you just read. read what, Psalm 110? Yeah, read it. Are you talking about the Psalm I've just read? Yes, or yes. Psalm? Just read that one, yeah. Psalm 2. No, 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 no. You are my son. Today I've begotten. Yeah, that's Psalm 2. Yeah, I will this. declare the decree. The Lord has no, said no, no, to no. me. Start from, start from verse 1, please. Who's he talking to? Why do the nation raise? Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed, yeah. saying, "Keep going, keep going, keep going." Okay, let's get it in context. Let us break their bonds in pieces. Read it. Don't That's what me. you're doing now. Just you're trying to the break Bible. the bond the of Bible. Jesus and God yeah. in pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Read the Bible. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. Okay, okay. So who? Okay. Who, which but now we haven't got there. Well, yeah. Muhammad. yeah. Keep going. Which, Muhammad. Well, Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. Jesus. Well, 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 Jesus was well, the king. Jesus, huh? That's a new one for me. Jesus, yeah. Keep going. He was, he was crowned a king well, of the well, Jews. Please, keep going. I will Muhammad declare Muhammad. the decree. The Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me. I will give you the nations for your inheritance. Yeah, yeah. Did Who's David that? get the nations? Yes. That's All the nations on the planet. That's what God said to him. He didn't get Keep South reading. Africa. He didn't get Australia. He didn't get America. He didn't even get Libya. Alexander the Keep Great, maybe. The Are you sure you don't want to claim Keep Alexander? The yeah, I've read the book. Read it. In context there. It's going to ask you a question now. It's going to say, Now therefore be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are those who put their trust in him. You know what I think? Yeah. You know what he's thinking Just now? Just keep reading. He's thinking, I wish I never asked him to read that. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no ways that can be David. Why? Because how did David get the nations? Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's look well, at it logically. Jesus was the king of Zion. Yes. 
He is the king of Zion. He's the eschatological king of Zion. But he's gonna, but he's gonna he say like, David is the king of he Zion. He was not a king of. He was not king of Israel, or he, he was not a king of. Um, Even this guy. Is like, <laughs> Arabia. He was not a king of Arabia. Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast their cords away from us. Jesus is the eschatological king of the world. Okay, he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords, right? Yeah, yeah. So now. In that, in that uh, scripture, you had this uh, question. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. What does God mean by that? Okay, let me say what he means by that. Does he mean kiss David? What is this? Okay. So he's going to be Like he, your mighty for us is, 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 is Satan. And for all us here. Forget about me. But no, no, no let's no, answer that question. Okay, forget, I'm not gonna You're on camera. Let's answer the question. Kiss the sun unless you be angry and you perish in the way. What I say to you is don't go to me. Go to your own scholars. Listen, please, I beg you. Yeah? I've been to the scholars. Oh, no, yeah. You know what the scholars said? Oh, no. Trust me. These Trust are me. The best yeah. Scholars. Yeah. No, yeah. The best yeah. Scholars. We, I've got scholars. Michael Brown. Michael Brown. Michael. Yeah. He's a contemporary bro. He's a he's a debater. He's a hillbilly bro. Uh, he's a hillbilly. Uh, so Dr. Michael Brown. He's a hillbilly. What about Dr. John MacArthur? These are the best scholars. I'm talking about your. Go, go, go to John Calvin. We uh, don't have John a Hadith. Calvin. We don't have a Hadith. Kiss the sun, let's be angry. So now, instead of actually saying to us, he's going to answer the go question. Now he's telling he will, me to go to the he scholars. Will never say, go to your Kiss the sun, unless you be angry and you perish in the way. Just that that you think this is about Jesus Christ. JC, do you get this? Okay, fine. It says no here, kiss the sun, okay, lest he be no angry. No problem, no problem. For the sake of our okay. No problem, give it to him. It's Jesus. Give it to him, but then you end up in hell because you're yeah, yeah, letting yeah, this man yeah. deceive you. No problem. No problem. Okay. You, can, you like that? You like that one? So does the Lord say to my Lord? No, you does like that. Is that David? You like that? Are you claiming on camera like the Lord says to my Lord, okay, is okay. God to David? You have to the God. You have to regard the you're, not, you're not responding to that question. Okay, let, let me respond. The Lord said to my Lord, who is that? Okay, Chris. You're, not gonna you're a nice guy. You're not going to respond. Let me respond to the guy. Let me respond to the guy. Give me a chance to respond to the man. Flattery, flattery no, no, no. is evil. Okay, be evil. Listen, be quiet. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say to you. 